First of all, Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Um, what were your overall thoughts and impressions of the match? Pretty intense. I mean, we knew coming in, Xavier was a good team. Uh, athletically, they showed it. Uh, I think, you know, you asked the question, do we really come in in the second half and, you know, consider to play a little bit more defensively? Uh, we talked about it, uh, but we also felt we had the ball winners in the middle of the field uh, that could handle balls that were served into the box. Uh, and I think we've talked about it before. You look at Lamakia, and it was funny to watch her talk, listen to her talk and talk about her back line, but she showed what she's about. I mean, she came out and she solved a lot of issues for us uh, with balls served in the box, and she was very confident coming out and dealing with those crosses. And you always tell your goalkeeper to protect herself, right? And, and there was a couple of times she delivered the blows compared to taking the blows herself. So she performed extremely well. Yeah, and, and offensively, I mean, really, when you look at the, at the stats and the way that everything transpired, you really only had the one scoring opportunity and you made the most of it. How did you feel like the rest of the match played out offensively after those 16 minutes for you? I would say we were very efficient. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we talked about this. At this level, you know, you're, you're going to maybe get a chance or here or there, maybe two the most. You know, can you put one in the back of the net? Let's face it, Xavier had some couple chances, and, and Lamacchio made the, the saves or, or defenders cleared the ball. Uh, we were fortunate enough. We, we asked Tatori the same question. Like, it looked like there was a little hesitation there. Did you get clipped? Did you sit something? And she's like, no, I didn't feel anything, so maybe that's her composure and didn't realize it. But, you know, we took advantage of a turnover, I believe, by their right back, and Leslie slots the ball across, and... Hattori stays composed and puts the ball in the back of the net and goes our way. Uh, nice was it to see that connection. I mean, it was a pretty good run in there from Kiesler. He just got around the defender and, and made a nice delivery. Yeah, I give Leslie credit because early on in the season, she wasn't playing, coming back from an ACL tear, and then COVID, she was <laughs> shut down at least, I think, for at 1.40 days. Uh, so just for her to have that ability, and, and, and in the beginning of the year, she didn't even start for us. Haley Johnson was our starting center forward, and she goes down with an injury, and Leslie comes in and has really taken it to another level. And she's been very also efficient, if you want to use that word, and stayed composed, slotted the ball across. And we'll tease her a little bit later about the one she could have had at the end. Uh, but, you know, she was pretty good holding the ball for us when she needed to. Talk a little bit about your defensive plan. So you had the one goal lead. It, it looked like you had a pretty nice balance of some high pressure when, when you kind of needed it, then you kind of mixed it up and, and lagged off a little bit. And then sort of ride it back? Were you sort of turning it up and down? We, we tried to. We didn't want to give up too much real estate too early because we knew they were going to send people forward and they were successful with getting their center midfielders to pop out wide and finding space there. So we wanted to press them up as high as we could up the field, but in the same sense, it was basically token pressure, just light pressure, make them work for it a little bit. And then when they usually got around half field, that's when we started to sort of push it one way and then try to really not allow as many crosses in as possible, but we also knew that our center backs were pretty good in the air that they could deal with those crosses. So the biggest thing is keeping them in front and having them try to serve those balls into our box and dealing with the first and second ball. Talk a little bit about uh, Schwartz's afternoon. I don't know if she made some great services out of the back and, and kept some of those long balls bending back in play where you guys yeah. can get after it in midfield or, or on the side. And I think that's, that's her strength, obviously. You know, leads the NCAA, I believe, in, in assist, has the ability to serve a ball, hit a ball, hit a bending ball. Uh, Today she was a little bit called more upon to defend, and you know she'll be the first one to tell you maybe athletically is not like the other players that we have, but intelligent wise that's where it's her strength, and she's able to get by reading the game, understanding the game, and you know she dealt with some players that had a ton of pace against her today, and, and for most part she kept them in front of her. Yeah, I know you believe that you can contend here, and I believe you can win coming in. What, what did you tell your team after that victory, and when the clock hits triple zeros there? Got to be careful, right? Uh, <laughs> congratulations. I mean, we knew it was going to be a big effort on the road. You know, at this point of the season, you know, it might be one goal and you move on. But obviously, you're excited. You know, you, you're playing against the Big East school that, Nate, let's face it, in the last two years, besides the COVID year, it has done extremely well. You don't run the tables in the Big East if you're, if you're not good. And it was a quality program that we beat tonight, and we were happy with it. So we said enjoy it. You know, you ask the questions, how long are you going to enjoy it? Yeah. And you start looking at it as a coach, well, how well do you have these girls brainwashed? <laughs> They'll enjoy it tonight, and then we'll sort of focus on Virginia and move on. There was a stat coming into the match that, I mean, you're seven years here now. You're, you've played 32 matches that have a 1-0 decision, and you're 26-6 and six in those matches. What is it about a 1-0 scoreline when we're getting up by that one goal that you feel like gives you that – ability to kind of play the way you did tonight? I think it's one of the things we've always built ourselves on is the defensive side. 
Uh, it's funny that you asked this question. I was asked that question probably my second year from uh, my sports admin group faculty. And they're like, do you love to win games 1-0? I said, no, I'd love to win games 5-0, but that's the way we're sort of built at this point. Uh, but I do think the girls are confident that, you know, defensively we're, we're very strong. We're used to playing a team like last year, playing Florida State, playing the Wisconsin's and the Big Ten. You know, our spring season is mostly Big Ten programs. Uh, maybe we don't see it as much in the Horizon League where we have more possession, but we've dealt with teams where we have less possession and just focusing in on our shape and – I think it goes a long way when you have a player like Lamakia behind when you're in the back line and you can realize any ball that gets played in, she's coming to win a ball. And she's very successful doing that. Was that one of her best matches of the year? I mean, uh, she was pretty incredible. She 100%. 100%, because obviously, like I said before, she's not as busy. Uh, we're talking about a kid until this year was not even an all-conference player in the Horizon League. Uh, and it's more or less because she doesn't see the action. Today she showed what she's capable of doing. How much do you know about Virginia? I think they won a match. Six to watched, I watched uh, the Florida State game in the ACC final, so we know a little bit about them. Uh, obviously, you're, anytime you run into an ACC school, you're talking about the cream of the crop. Uh, so obviously, just like anything, we're going to have to do our research and figure out what we can do and try to be successful. That I think what will help is being on the field last spring against Florida State. Hopefully, it will help. <laughs> All right, Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.